back on the corridor scene we have got the ceiling tiles in there and the walls and some trim still got to texture this trim and let's see if we can get the floor tiles done now all right so let's do this i want to find that corner piece right there i want to find that tile there okay so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to shift d to duplicate that pull that down and we'll get it snapped into place let's move that to the floor all right so it's in there and now what i want to do is i want to come in here and i want to get rid of that material and i'm going to add a new material and i'm going to call this floor tile and what i've got is this stuff so far from before so i want to I want to fix this up so I'm going to I think I'm going to get rid of those and uh, I'm going to get rid of those edges and I have just that actually I should have got rid of these vertices as well I just want to start with this and have to make a face and that's all I want for the moment now it's facing upwards so that's good now here's what we're going to do uh, I want to have the right number of tiles going across. Now, in the ceiling, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So I want 12. And so the way I'm going to do this is I can just focus actually just on that. And let's get rid of, there's nothing else on it. All right, fine. I'm going to drop an edge loop there and there. And I'm going to use that to make my top. So I'm going to select the whole thing. I'm going to press I twice, pull it in, and I, I just want a small gap in between something. We'll try that. All right, so, you know, I'm certainly going to be adding polys uh, by uh, doing this, uh, but that's, that's okay. And I'm going to, uh, let's see, I guess I'm going to mark seams on that thing there that'll make it easier for me to select each of these as a separate tile because what i'm going for is this and i'm thinking of this as one square there one kind of quad thing made of four tiles two of the same here two of the same there so that's what i'm going to do there so now i'm going to go into editing uv editing and i'm going to look down from the top and i'm going to press a to select it all make sure it's all selected and then you project from view bounds and I'll get this and I'm going to save that as my floor tile as an FBX all right so uh, it's gonna be very straightforward we're gonna start off with simple concrete and we're gonna put that down no you know what I may just go for a simple color instead color and I'll, I'll, I'll do roughness I'll just bring the roughness way up and darken this nice and dark like that all right so we want to get two tiles the same and two tiles the same so let's work on that let's go with a fill layer and a black mask and just start selecting first of all let's try this that and that okay that's fine so those two are going to be there so i'm going to call this uh tiles one and let's start working on that all right so yeah so over here i'm going to use color and height and i'll drag the height i'll drag it up like that and for the color let's see if we can um let's see if we can get this going and not that that oh geez that and that and let's try to color pick from from this and see how well it works. So I'm going to choose this and let's just come over to say this one. And we'll just get a color like that. All right. Okay, and I may, I may decide to change these later on. We'll see. And I just want to decide if I'm going to like this gap in between. I mean, there is a small gap in between, so let's hope for the best. Okay, so we have those tiles there now. Um, what I'd also like to do is I'd like to add a filter bevel, just like I did in the roof. And I'm going to go for what I did last time. 
0 0.06 for my bevel and the rounding or the smoothing let, let's bring it up to say 1.5 let's try 1.5 and see how that that might be too much let's try 1.25 all right, we'll stick we'll stick with that for the moment. Now the next thing that we need uh, on here is I need some uh, some dashes on here. Some some I want some of these lines, white lines on there. And I just want to decide if maybe I do want that underneath there. You know what, maybe I'll put that in and just darken it up. So we get a tiny bit of surface detail coming through in that. All right, anyways, not very much, but something. All right, so uh, yeah, I'll get rid of that and we'll just stick with that. So the tiles one, okay. The next thing I'm going to do is let's create another, another fill layer with a black mask. And let's select those two again. And here I'm going to use just color, I think. I'll stick with that white and we'll come over here and we'll add a fill. And I'm going to choose in the grayscale this anisotropic noise. Now, right now it's going on everything. So let's try a folder, drag that in, and on here add a black mask and choose there and there. And now we have some white lines in there. So now let's come over to here and decide if there's anything we want to change. I don't want to do that. And I don't really, what I think I want to do is maybe blur these a little and then we'll decrease the intensity. Just want to, let's try that and then let's just come over here and bring this way down. Um, let's maybe come back to here. Maybe we can, just before the blur, let's try a blur slope and just, okay, that's going to break it up pretty pretty good let's put it on min let's shut off the blur for the moment and bring this up so we can see what's going on Maybe there is better doing it there. Put that at four. That'll give me a better result. Okay, something like that. Let's put the blur back on. Just like that. Now we could start with that. And I'm going to drag this in here. And these are going to be the uh, tiles one, let's say. All right, let's repeat that for the other spaces. I'm going to add a fill and I'm going to go for color and height and we'll see about the roughness. So I'm going to bring the height up, add a black mask and we're going to choose here and here. So we've got that. I'm going to add that bevel and I'll go for 0 0.06 and I need that value here 
that we used for the smoothing 1.25 okay so we'll put smoothing at 1.25 and let's go for the color and let's do like a kind of a gray color we'll start with that and we'll see how that goes okay so uh, these are going to be tiles too and we want to get those white lines so i'm going to do another one of these in the black mask and select there that's where it's going to go and with a fill and i'm going to be using the anisotropic again we'll change those in a second but let's now uh, get another folder going with a black mask and uh, that's this one and this one Let's take that and uh, just drop those in there. So we got those there. Okay, good. And this is going to be uh, you know, the tiles too. I, mean, I suppose you could name this something like pattern or lines or something. And let's just come down here and see if we can match these. So I want 0 0.17, 4 and 254, 0 0.17. All right, let's go with this. Uh, and, 0 0.17 they don't have to be exactly the same you can do them a little different that already looks kind of good uh, let's just see though if I start bringing the X out well I got it at 4 which one is this uh, here yeah okay 4 and 256 okay that's fine all right and what's the next thing we have we have a blur slope on there let me just see without the blur slope I think I'm gonna get rid of the blur slope and just go with the blur so we'll do that we'll put a blur on here and just bring that up now they're both facing the same way and so i want to come to say this one and i'll rotate this one by 90 degrees and we'll also drop the uh i got 56 here eh so let's go with 56 or 55 or whatever make this 55 Okay, so we got that, we got that. Tiles one, tiles two, I want that inside there. Okay, let's save that. Now, that's not necessarily going to be the best color, so let's have a look. So it's green and a light gray. Green and a light gray. Let's, how about if we just take this though and drop it down a little bit, so it's like that. And this one's kind of a less of that green like a little bit more uh, desaturated darken it up though yeah and i think on this one i may need to drop this so it's a, a little bit I want to do something with the normal of this and I don't want the surface detail actually in the normal so I'm actually going to get rid of that and I'm going to create another fill I'll just drop it in the bottom here and I'm going to use just color maybe roughness and I can bring that up and I'm going to use a dark gray so I'm back to sort of where I was with that all right now I'm going to export these export the textures QBR metallic roughness into the into the folder I want with the name here and that will create the normal now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that normal there it is I'm going to import it as a texture to my current session and I'm going to drag that into the normal map here all right now I haven't baked the other maps, so I'm gonna bake the mesh maps at 2K, but I'm gonna uncheck normal. I don't wanna bake over that. Uncheck ID and thickness, because I don't need them anyhow. So let's bake those. 
and now that normal information is part of like the geometry it's part of the curvature map in particular so what I want to do is I want to come in here above the pattern and I'm going to create a new fill layer and I'm just going to use color I'll use this off-white add a black mask and let's try the metal edges generator and now I'm sort of targeting the outside so now I can add add or decrease grunge I just want a little bit of a border a little bit of whiteness on there let's make it a little bit more visible all right so I've got that and I'm gonna call this edges and I'm gonna do the same thing up here create a fill layer just with white a black mask generator metal edges and I'll just get the same values so that uh, everything's cool so let's see what I did here I want 0 0.56 and 0 0.37 5 6 3 7 5 6 and 3 7 5 6 and for grunge amount All right, so I'm not saying those are the best colors yet, but uh, we have something. So let's see how this looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and export it again. We're gonna export everything. Okay, floor tile. Now I'm only at 1024 uh, resolution. We'll, we'll see what that looks like. Let's come back here to Blender. Let's go to the shading tab. Let's just focus on that. All right, I've given it the, the material of floor tile. And let's go to texture corridor, floor tile, there it is. And this is what we get. Okay, now I'm gonna bring stuff back and let's see what it's like with uh, snapping and stuff like that. So I'm gonna copy it and snap it and I can easily go back and change those materials and I probably will but uh, would you, I just want to get a sense of what this is like so we're going across that's looking good so now I will take a few minutes and copy this out uh, to sort of fill it up and then I'll come back to you all right, I've got all of the tiles in there. Let's have a look and see what this looks like here. Okay, uh, under that particular lighting, uh, it's gonna. It may look a little funny because of the lighting. That's probably the best look we're gonna get with this lighting for now. So I may change those colors, but that is what it looks like. Um, I can adjust the roughness. I can put some roughness variation, and I may do that. We'll see, but that's the general method for creating those tiles. I'll show you a little image, which is a quick render of some of this, just to give you an idea of where it may be going. All right, here is a render, a test render, anyhow, showing the, the ceiling tiles, the brick walls, some of the trim, and some tiles that maybe have a slightly different, a different color, but that's the general the general idea for it anyhow. I'm going to move ahead and work on some of the items by myself, but I will probably leave stuff like the doors and the door frame, maybe the cart uh, to do with you, but things like posters or boxes or anything, anything like that, I'll just do on my own so I can pick up the pace a little bit. So we will be back, but that at least gives us the ceiling and the floor and the walls. So we're pretty much ready to start moving on to the interior models. All right, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.